Yesterday, following the, the verdict in the Umar Zamir uh, case, that you, there are two investigations you are launching. I want to get, first off, your reaction to the comments by Justice Bovoy with allegations to collusion and what your hope is, uh, why you've launched these two separate investigations and how they will play out. Yeah, so I just want to make sure, uh, I'll definitely take the question, are we good to, okay. Um, listen, I appreciate that question. Um, just a couple of things on it. Um, first of all, uh, to be clear, what the justice, as I understand it, indicated was that the jury needed to consider various things in their deliberations, and one of them spoke about our officers, one of the considerations. Um, and we have a process in place for this. We actually have a procedure that I put in place last year uh, that when there are what we refer to as adverse comments by the judiciary that we do conduct, uh, a review of the circumstances, take a good look at what happened, um, and respond to whatever we learn through that process. Uh, and that's precisely what you know I've asked the uh, Ontario Provincial Police to do, uh, to provide a level of independence that I believe this circumstance uh, would benefit from. Uh, secondly, the other review is something we're doing internally, uh, and that is you know our ongoing commitment of continuous improvement. We're going to take a look at all aspects of our work in plain clothes. Um, and take a look at the lessons learned, uh, not just from these circumstances, but of course from these circumstances, but also best practices, what's going on uh, in the policing sector that we might look at uh, bringing into this organization uh, to make our uh, response um, the best it could possibly be. And quite frankly, I think uh, we owe it to everybody to do everything we possibly can uh, to prevent these kinds of things from happening again. And uh, we will look to learn and put in place whatever we possibly can. Are there any lessons learned immediately after uh, the result of this trial? Well, listen, I, of course, uh, my mind has turned to different lessons, uh, but I don't want to preempt the important work of the review. And I, and I like our review, um, the leadership of our review team, to bring together a multi-sectoral group of, of subject matter experts and, and come forward with you know, their findings. Hi, Chief. It's uh, Wendy Gillis from the Toronto Star. When this incident first happened, your predecessor, Chief Raymer, said it was intentional and deliberate. Was it a mistake to say that at the outset when all of the information was not there? And secondly, do you commit to releasing the results of the OPP report? So thank you for that, uh, Wendy. I, you know, I don't feel uh, it's really appropriate for me to go back in time and comment on another Chief's comments. Um, so, I, you know, I think Would you say the same thing again, though? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, sorry. Would you do the same thing again? Do you, do you advise similar actions for the future? Do you think it was ill-advised to speak well, about what happened well, without listen, all the information? Whatever, whatever happens in the future, I will take step-by-step uh, step based on the facts that are before me. Um, and I'll be thoughtful to uh, what I say and, of course, the lessons learned in all our encounters, including in this set of events. Um, as it, uh, your second question was about releasing the results, uh, you have my commitment that I'll do everything possible to be as transparent as we can be uh, based on what we learned through that process. Uh, hello, Chief. Uh, JP Nadeau from the French CBC. If Justice Malloy had not said any statement, anything, would you have asked the OPP to investigate? Well, I think... I think um, you know, I appreciate the question, but it's quite impossible for me to answer something that didn't happen. Uh, what did happen is the justice made comments. Um, what did happen is that we have a procedure and a process uh, that this organization put in place uh, to deal with these types of circumstances, and we are making sure that that happens. And second question, um, do you realize that maybe the confidence of the public in the police is, is down, and how do you because it is alleged that three cops have yeah. probably lied on the stand. How do you, uh, how are you prepared to repair that relationship? Well, listen, uh, again, I appreciate that question. You, you cut to the heart of um, a fundamental principle in policing, and that is the trust and confidence of our communities we serve. And, you know, when I became chief, uh, my very first priority was to improve trust in the Toronto Police Service. And we strive to do that each and every single day in all our encounters. In fact, when I meet with new recruits, um, when I meet with our supervisors, we stress the importance that every encounter that we have with the public matters, every single one. Uh, so we certainly recognize um, the concerns of the community and we're gonna do everything we can uh, to rebuild trust in the best way we possibly can. And to that end, you know, when I, when I 
uh, asked for a review. Uh, I asked for it to be done by an external agency and be independent of us, uh, really, truly, in the hopes of you know providing some comfort that uh, you know we're moving towards rebuilding trust by ha examining the circumstances and um, and doing so in an independent way, and as mentioned, in transparent uh, way, the best possible transparency that we can offer in these processes. Chief Eric Natividad, City News. You're talking about an independent review here. There are concerns that it's one police agency investigating another. How do you address that? Can it really be unbiased? Well, listen, we, we, uh, we will have safeguards in place to ensure that uh, uh, the OBP is able to conduct a review without um, uh, concern in that regard. I have full confidence that uh, we have uh, 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 police investigators in many organizations that can uh, proceed through these types of um, reviews without, um, you know, any kind of uh, uh, bias or concern. Uh, and we'll go where the facts lead us and we'll take the findings and do what we need to do with that. And one other question with regards to the internal review, is this an acknowledgement that mistakes were made on that night in July? I'm sorry, what was the last part? With regards to the internal review of plain clothes procedures, is that an acknowledgement that mistakes might have been made that night in July? No, I, I think it's, it'd be premature to make any kind of statement like that. I, I, you know, we owe it, quite frankly, to the legacy of our friend and colleague uh, to do everything we can uh, to learn uh, and to do everything we can to uh, um, prevent anything like this, these kinds of horrible tragedies for ever happening again. And I think I owe it to the membership of the organization that works, quite frankly, <clears throat> tirelessly and with great courage each and every day in harm's way to give them the best tools, the best equipment, the best training and the best support so they can succeed. And that's precisely what we're going to do through this review. Chief uh, Catherine McDonald from Global. On Sunday outside the courthouse, uh, you talked about the, the process and you said that, um, that, you were dis that you were hoping for a different outcome. Uh, and then yesterday in your statement, you, you seem to be backtracking a bit. Uh, do you want to clarify how you feel about the verdict that was delivered on Sunday? Have, have you changed your point of view? Because a lot of people felt that that was uh, maybe the police not acknowledging that a verdict had, had been come to by a jury that had spent five yeah. weeks and three days deliberating. Yeah, no, I, I really appreciate the opportunity to, to address that. Thank you. Um, it's not lost on me. Uh, what the conversation has been, and I completely appreciate that. You know, I, uh, on, <clears throat> on Sunday, I thought it was clear uh, that I supported the justice system and the work of the jury. Um, you know, as I look back, uh, let me be emphatic about that, and I appreciated the opportunity yesterday to clarify um, how emphatic I am. Um, in my career, I have always been a supporter of the justice process, including uh, all elements of the system that leads us towards justice. And while we all see closure in many different ways, and as elusive as closure can be, sometimes in a court process, um, closure is something that, that we certainly look for. Um, but as I said yesterday, as I was confident I said Sunday, uh, closure does not come at the expense of justice. And let me be crystal clear. I support and accept the verdict of the jury. Thanks. Two more questions. If I could make a, just a, a follow-up. Uh, what about an inquest into the death of uh, Officer Northrop? Do you think that would be a good idea uh, for transparency reasons, for example? Well, listen, I, I, again, I, I'm not sure. I mean, that's a decision of, of uh, another set of experts uh, and will await uh, that process uh, and will continue our commitment to learning <clears throat> and doing what we need to do um, to uh, move forward in, in an effort of always improving how we conduct ourselves in our operations. Uh, but really, truly, I, I have to wait and see uh, what the decision is from the coroner. Chief Megan Fitzpatrick from CBC News. Just to follow up on Catherine's question there and just um, your now emphatic statement about accepting the verdict from the jury. On Sunday, you said you were hoping for a different outcome. The outcome was a not guilty verdict. Did you misspeak then? Or on Sunday, when you said that, did you mean you were hoping Mr. Zamir was found guilty? No, I think, you know, 
uh, again, in the context of the totality of the circumstances, uh, what I uh, was trying to convey is that I accept the jury's findings. And we are an organization that's grieving and uh, trying to work through um, finding some path towards closure. Um, so, you know, I think uh, I really appreciated the opportunity yesterday to clarify. And let me say it again. Uh, I do accept the jury's findings, always have. Uh, we are obviously, um, you know, looking for an opportunity for closure. And, um, but to be clear, the jury's findings uh, are what I accept. And I thought I was clear Sunday, but I want to make sure I'm clear on that now. Thank you. Um, Mr. Zamir's defense lawyer accused your officers of lying on the stand um, and of uh, committing collusion by writing their notes together in the same room, for example. Yeah. Did your officers lie on the stand and was there any collusion? Well, uh, again, it's completely inappropriate for me to comment on uh, that at this stage. Uh, this is why there is an independent review and we'll uh, let the review do the work that is required.